So good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Simon Grimley. I'm a regional representative for Euraxis ASEAN, one of the co-organizers of today's event. Susanna, my colleague, is the other regional representative. Um, we've organized this event this morning in, in partnership with Thailand's National Science and Technology Development Agency. Uh, the event is, as you can see, is called Advancing Your Research Career, Funding and Fellowship Opportunities for Researchers in Southeast Asia. So what we hope to do today is to present to you a wide range of European funding and fellowship opportunities uh, that I think should appeal to you if you're interested in building your research career with research partners in Europe. Sorry for the little bit of a delay. There seemed, uh, we've heard that there's a, there was a, a delay on the MRT, so we wanted to give some time for people to show up, but I think we'll, we'll get started. Um, I would first like to invite two colleagues from the EU delegation and from Thailand's National Science and Technology Delegation, National Science and Technology Development Agency, to, uh, to, to deliver some welcome remarks. So first of all, I may invite Anna Marie Panasagura, the Attaché Cooperation Delegation of the European Union uh, to Thailand, to, uh, to welcome you all this morning. Anna? Good morning, everybody. Mrs. Kulaprapa, Assistant President of the National Science and Technology Development Agency, distinguished speakers, colleagues, and friends. Good morning, everybody. I would like to thank you all and thank the researchers here today for coming, and also to extend a warm welcome to my European colleagues for making the trip a very long trip here. Based on the number of participants I can see so far and more that will be coming probably later on when the train is uh, repaired, I can see there is a considerable interest in strengthening researcher cooperation between Europe and Thailand. Now, let me provide some context to this event today that I hope will stimulate some discussion and encourage further collaboration. Economic globalization, combined with rapid uh, increases in population, has seen the emergence of issues which are transboundary or transnational in nature, such as infectious diseases, safe and secure supplies of food and water, and sustainable sources of energy. No one nation on its own can mobilize the resources, technical or financial, to confront and deal with these problems. The transnational nature of these issues require multi-partner, cross-sectoral and transboundary approaches to research, and this can only be achieved through scientific cooperation. Research and innovation are international activities that require cooperation between multiple partners in order to find the most effective solutions to these problems. Thousands of students and researchers from across ASEAN countries, the 10 member, uh, member states of ASEAN, have already benefited enormously from pursuing higher education degrees and research fellowships in Europe through such programs as Erasmus Mundus, the EU Marie Curie Actions, and a whole range of bilateral funding schemes. Dear colleagues and friends, I urge you to take full advantage of these sessions being organized here today. Thanks to Susan and Simon for making a great efforts to put this event uh, together and uh, to identify a specific areas of cooperation between Europe and Thailand that can lead to solutions that will improve the quality of life for people around the world. I would like to wish you a very productive and successful workshop and I thank you all for your attention. Thank you. Thank you, Anna. I'd now like to invite uh, a colleague from Thailand's National Science and Technology Development Agency, NSTDA, an organization that should be well known to you all, uh, Ms. Kunpapa uh, Navu Kra, who is Vice President at NSTDA. Sadika, Miss Anna Maria Pinasigura, a delegation from European Union to Thailand, distinguished speakers, colleagues, and friends. Good morning to you all. It is real pleasure to be here and to see such a good turnout. Obviously, the interest in research and mobility opportunities is high, and I find this be very encouraging. 
On behalf of my colleagues of Th at Thailand National Science and Technology Center Development Agency, or NASDAQ, I would like to thank the representative of the European Funding Agency for taking the time to share your program with us. Several of you have traveled a very long way to be here with us, and for this we are very grateful. I would like to also thank Susan and Simon, my colleagues at URSS Link ASEAN, for their initiative and hard work in helping make this event happen. Now, let me provide some background to this event today, which I hope this will not only stimulate some discussion, but give you in this room some encouragement. For over 30 years, the EU and Thailand have, uh, enjo uh, have enjoyed bilateral relations and cross-continent cooperation. In the early years, the emphasis was on the green revolution, including crop diversification and boosting farmers' income. Our cooperation in the early year to proceed largely on a donor-recipient basis. Our relationship has evolved considerably since then, and I think this is a reflection of the changing role that science and technology has come to play in our life. In 1998, Thailand and the EU had 200 co-published research papers. In less than 10 years, this had climbed to over 700 co-published papers, and this exponential growth has continued. By 2013, the number of EU-Thailand co-publication was well over 1,800 in number. Dear colleagues, I am very encouraged by this number, and I think that there is much more than what we can do together in terms of science and technology operation. Increasingly, research and innovation and global activities that require cooperation between multiple partners in order to find more eff effective solutions with respect to global challenges, such as a lack of food and water, energy security, and climate change. The mobility of researchers is therefore essential. It is the underpinning toward international research cooperation since it provides an opportunity for researchers living and working in different parts of the world to come together to share their knowledge and experience. In addition, this gathering will come up with innovative solutions to, to some of the roles most process problem, international research cooperation is not a zero-sum game, but rather must be seen as a win-win prop proposition. Thousands of students and researchers from across ASEAN have already benefited enormously from pursuing higher education degree and research fellowship in Europe through such program as Elasmus Mundus, the EU Maris Krodov, uh, Dovska Curie, action and a, and a whole range of bilateral funding schemes. I'm convinced that both Thailand and ASEAN and the Europe will continue to benefit enormously from the increased participation of Southeast Asia researchers in, Euro in European funding and fellowship programs. I urge you to take advantage of these sessions being organized here today and look forward to hearing about the result. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Kun Papa, for your, for your welcome remarks.